<laughs> Greetings everybody, my name is Crims and welcome back to some Super Metroid! This is a healing station, we don't need that. Hope you're all having a fantastic day! Because it's still February 25th and this is the second part of the session. And we're heading off towards a very nasty guy. He's right down there. So, <laughs> the last episode was a lot of talking. And uh, this episode, I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> I just don't know what else to talk about. So, it would be a very big contrast there. Um, yes. So, in other news, I started a Final Fantasy VIII co op with uh, Nana. We only made two sessions so far. And uh, there's like only one part up on YouTube, or maybe two. And it's so much fun. It made it just reminds me of how fun co-ops are to make. Because making co commentary Fuck this shit. <laughs> Let's go! It's boss time! I think you all know what I'm trying to say here. So I'm just gonna blow off these shits. And look at these beauties. This is the boss. We don't need that fucking hell. Just gonna roll around and have fun with them. Are you having a good time? Would you like me to help you? Or like searching for your mother? I mean, I guess I could call her. MOTHER! I guess she isn't your mother. Well, I mean my mother, so never mind then. Hmm. Okay. Ah! What in the fucking hell is that? That scared me so much. He's so fast. Or she. That. I don't know what the fuck that is. Just look at it. It has like five million faces. Just stop doing that fucking shit. Okay, now we need normal missiles. I don't have any idea what this boss is called. I'm just gonna spam my missiles like a maniac. Yeah, stop it! Ah! No! Don't grab me, blocks! Fuck! Look it! <sighs> okay, this is a big trick. When he holds you like this, he will start to... I don't know what the fuck he does to my butt. But uh, we can try to touch these things on the side and that will make his day very shitty. Come on! Yes! <laughs> and he's already dead! Look at that! He has so many faces! This boss is so cool. Yeah, uh, that's it. The power of electricity. You like it? Okay, uh, what? Oh, That's so cute. But it's wrong! It's so wrong! Now that boss is dead! What can we do? We can get some rewards. How about the space jump? Which kind of is a weird name, because we're always jumping in space. <laughs> but this beauty makes us able to jump infinity, which doesn't help me at all, because I have wall jump. <laughs> no. Man, I'm so annoying in this session. So yeah, we can just jump for eternity, but you need to time it, because if you spam... It works. Can I remind them? <laughs> it works if you spam it. But if you don't spam it, you need to time it, or else you will lose it and you can't do it anymore. But this is uh, so slow, but if you hold it, you can do this. And it's much faster. Mm. Gracious God. So, other than uh, Majora's Mask, I um, also got Pokemon Omega Ruby. And that is the first time I will be playing the third generation. I played the first generation very much, and the second one when it came out. But the third generation I never got to, because I never had a Game Boy Advance. Or that game for that, for that matter. So I never got to play the third generation, I never, you know, got the nostalgia for it or anything like that. I think there's a secret over here. Oh yes, there is! in the fuck is that? What? Dude! Ew! It's so nasty! This is the only place in the game where you can see these enemies. Oh, don't crush me. Just let me get over! Okay, good. And the only thing we get from that is just a fucking missile stage. Okay, that's actually kind of good because we used so many on the boss. 170. Wow! And, um... Shit. Also, Nana has um, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and the normal 3DS, which I bought for her. And, um... <laughs> we did like this. 
I got all the three starting Pokemons, thanks to her. It's so nice, it feels like a little bit of cheating, right? But uh, I just want to do it. It's so fun to have all three starters and just go with that. Because I'm not very... I'm not uh, familiar with the Pokemons from that game and I don't know which are good. But I can guess that the starter Pokemons are always good, so... Going with the first three is very a good uh, strategy. And also, I want to finish that game 100% with the help of Nana, of course. Trading Pokemons and all that. So I got to 100% that game, which will be the first time I ever 100% the Pokemon game. But I want to do it with that game because why the fuck not? Because now I actually have someone that has the other version, right? I didn't really have that before. Or never cared about it or didn't know about it, I don't know. I just played it, had fun, and that's it. So that's what I'm going to do. Playing this game is amazing. It makes you so moist in your pants every day. What the fuck? It's so good. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this game. It's so fucking perfect. And if you haven't played it, I don't care if you use emulator. Just fucking play this game. It's so amazing. So now when the boss is dead, we can actually go up here. Not that uh, <laughs> if you're not familiar with this map, then it doesn't make any sense. But uh, this is a very crucial spot in here, and it's only open when the boss is dead, so that's why I went to the boss first. And we are inside here! It's a crazy place, it's so green. And they're actually making a fool out of myself. They're making a fool of me. <laughs> My English is so great right now. Also, um, what I was trying to say before what was um, this fucking thing! Okay, good. No! <laughs> wow. Uh, was that the uh, co-op commentary is so nice because you don't you don't always have to talk all the time and you can ask questions and listen and you can focus on the game while the other player is talking you know all that shit go down here and get the plasma beam it's so nice but when you do commentary yourself you're the one who is holding everything you know you need to talk all the time you need to talk to yourself and there's not so much you can talk about other than the game. I mean, I can talk about what has happened and what I'm doing, but I can't talk to anyone. And this is like the basic of the basics uh, when it comes to commentary. But uh, I'm just comparing now this to co-op. And uh, I also love this setup me and Anna has that uh, I love Final Fantasy VIII. And I know it very well. I've played it so many times. And she has never played it and haven't seen anything of it. She has... Uh, she only heard, um, she has only heard some of the music, but that's like no spoiler or anything like that, kind of. So it's very interesting, you know, it's, uh, it's fun for me to do a let's play on it, because I love that game and I want to do it, and it's going to be the longest ever. And it's also fun to do with another person, because when it's so long, can you just imagine how many hours that you just talk to yourself? So it's much easier when it's a long series to have someone else to talk to. Wow, Crims, you're so fucking obvious! Let's fall down. Oh, that's red wine. It's, it's very good. So now we're down here. What the fuck can we do? We're like kind of uh, done with uh, Meridia now. We just need to get all the items and we're done. This place, fucking hell. If you don't have the space jump, it can't be quite a hassle because you get stuck in the quicksand like this and you can't, you can't really jump up and get the- ah! Get the fuck up, Samus! Kinda like that. That's what happens. Now this place was uh, the hardest for me. I think it still is one of the hardest parts in the game, but... Now it's not so hard because I have the space jump, but before, trying to get up here without the space jump is quite tricky, but I think... Yeah, I see how you got it, because I'm so good. And then you need to wall jump, which I couldn't do so good before. And I think wall jump is more reliable than uh, the space jump, because sometimes the space jump just stops working. Like, let's see if I can... Fuck! Let's see, I was gonna use the space jumps. Let's try my best to hold it up. And now when I'm actually trying to make it stop working, it works all the time. <laughs> what the fuck, game? Okay, this power-up, man, I love it. But first of all, we need to find this guy. And it's like, what the fuck is he doing? But he needs to uh, destroy this. Yay! 
Now it's quite tricky to. It's not tricky, but you know, you need to figure out that you need to blow up that, and you don't need. You don't have to kill him. You, you, you're not supposed to kill him. And I think this is so satisfying to watch. I mean, every other turn it's uh, two spaces up here, and the next time it's okay. No, it's uh, three spaces. I guess it's kind of random. Okay, it's three spaces again. What kind of material is this? It's like... Stale sand. I don't know what the fuck that is. You can, see, you can still see some pixels down on the ground from it. And I like that. And I'm like a perfectionist. I need him to clear up everything. And I'm so glad that he does. And now I kill him. <laughs> and what we find down here, you will see next time. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. Really, I appreciate it. And I will see you next time when we go down this tiny, tiny hole. Goodbye.